Hello Capricorn. Welcome to Lover's Lane. I'm Kelly and I'm coming to you with your vibe. I can't say your daily vibe because I haven't done you guys sign in a while. Like it's been really busy and I just been trying to look. I saw you hear that I'm not lying. It's just been very busy and I've been trying to balance everything. Trying to get this thing back on track. But let's get into your read. So let's first start off. I'd like to say thank you guys for like, share, and subscribing to the channel. To all the new subscribers. Welcome. I appreciate you. Thank you for stopping by and joining the Lover's Lane tribe. Um, ooh, and let's also thank Spirit and our ancestors for always having our backs. Always looking out for us. Hearing those conversations that we don't hear. <laughs> And knowing these uh, secrets that we don't know, but they keep us protected. Excuse me, guys. So, I feel like Capricorn, for some of you, uh, you could be, um, you could be being chased in a situation. Like, somebody I feel like is trying to come at you with an apology. Um, they see that you are a very hard-working woman. You a boss bitch. I mean, call self-explanatory. Giving that, uh, you know, that, 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 that big daddy, big mama energy. You know what I'm saying? You know, you stay when you busy. You multifaceted. You run your own business. You, you know, you do your own thing. But somebody is really in their head. They could be smoking a lot. You know, overthinking, analyzing. They this person they strive. They stressed. I feel like, you know, you could be a Capricorn with a Scorpio in your chart. Um, or you could have been dealing with a Scorpio, someone who was trying to be sneaky, trying to have a little side bitch on the side, sneaking out the window, you know what I'm saying? That type shit, whoever this bitch is, she can wear green hair, yellow hair, or something. For some of you, some of y'all could have clocked that bitch while she was coming out the window. You know what I'm saying? She be why she thought she was sneaking off with her little shoes and shit in her hand. You could have clocked her ass right there outside the window. The girl front face looked like it's a little knotted up on one side. But this person, I feel like you want a divorce. You could have children with this person. You, I feel like at one point in time, you all separated or y'all was getting, y'all was going through a separation um, or a divorce. But I feel like someone may be changing their tune here. Okay? Someone may be changing their tune. I feel like someone now wants to open doors for you. They want to be more caring and giving towards you. But we see this underlying energy. This is someone that you've been with a very long time. You all have built a legacy for yourselves. You know, y'all have children, grandchildren. This is someone you've been with for a long time. But you feel like at this point, this person ain't shit. You know what I mean? You done been through a lot and you're haunted by the memories of everything that you and this person have been through. You feel like this person is ruthless as fuck. Like, they could care less. They have no pity or compassion for the shit that they do to people. And then wonder why nobody wants to have any compassion for, you know, and shit for them. But I feel like, I don't feel like this is you. I feel like this is... <clears throat> somebody around you is going to be feeling very sorrowful if they're not already um you know some of you could be getting ready to get married so somebody could hear about your wedding getting ready to take place for some of you i feel like you could be renewing your vows um but you had a strong intuition i feel like that you knew that this person was communicating with somebody else love messages trying to make an offer, make it seem like they sing out here, like they single. But this person, I feel like it's coming back to you wanting to make you a new offer, wanting to start over. You could have found this person was communicating. You know, they were trying to hold back the fact that they was communicating with other people online. And this person was stealing your time, stealing your money, stealing your resources. And I feel like you were releasing that shit. You were letting go of all the drama. Okay, you like, look, I don't have time for this shit. I really don't. And you're done taking from me. And you ain't giving shit back but a bunch of headache and heartache. And whoever this side person is, this person wants to be like you so bad. They're very jealous of you. Very jealous of you, Capricorn. So let's get into, let's clarify. 
talking about the seven of swords with the death card but i feel like yeah this situation is transforming it's over i don't know if the side piece or the person that was trying to make the side piece decided look this shit ain't fool me i ain't got time to be speaking out of windows and shit but um someone is definitely transformed from doing some of the things that people may have accused them of doing um let's see Yes, it's over. Well, God, somebody put an end to this situation. Somebody completed this cycle. They was tired of waiting. They was somebody, your person, I feel like, was gaslighting whoever this person was. I feel like a lot of this was just like a game for your person. person was we have the queen of wands out here tw twice so whoever this fire sign is this person wants to be like you um this person i have issues going on right now with their children or some sort maybe i feel like something brought this queen of wands this person felt like they felt like a fool <laughs> they took a leap of faith on this you know with your person and this person feel like a fool. I'm going to really be honest with you. The feeling that I'm getting is that this person did not know. I feel like they asked the question. Like, you know, are you married? Or I feel like this person did not know. Exactly. Exactly. This person did not know. Eight of swords. Ten of swords. Yeah. They didn't know. They was trying to be vulnerable. But love exposed the truth. Someone didn't know. So, Capricorn, if you was mad at this person, you need to be mad at your person because your person didn't let this person know. Yeah, then we had the Queen of Pentacles. We had the Queen of Pentacles. That's your energy right there, Capricorn. Abundant. Night of one. Yeah, this person was taking a risk. They was taking a risk. Um... Or you could feel like that your person could be very immature. That your person is very flighty. Whoever this is, somebody was being being very destructive. This person could have ghosted your person. Whoever the side person is, they could have ghosted your person. But I feel like your person could have been still trying to chase after them as well. Like it's it's totally like I say, sometimes people sometimes we don't even know that they're being that they're being in a third party situation. Thank you, three of cups. Sometimes people don't even know this. You know what I mean? This was someone that they were friends with. Yep, look at this with the three of wands. This person is like, look, I don't have time for this. If you got a wife, you got a family, I feel like your person just wasn't being honest. Yeah. Person wasn't being honest. With the eight of pentacles with the six of cups. So this is someone that they've known for a long time. They could have known since childhood. Divinely guided the star card with the five of pentacles. So the worst is over in this situation. Yeah, then I say ghost. Somebody goes to somebody. Someone goes to somebody in this situation. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. 
Aquarius could have left you out in the cold, or you could have left an Aquarius out in the cold. The spirit is saying that it's time for you to trust the journey your connection is being um, protected. So it's like if you're feeling like, you know, things aren't working out with you and your person, spirit is saying that your connection is protected. Yep, here we go, the King of Pentacles. So here, deep, strong intuition and knowing. You knew that you're King of Pentacles, and this is how I know you all are a married couple. You are, you know, y'all are the yin to y'all yang. You are equally you. We had the Queen of Pentacles, and now we have the King of Pentacles. Um, and the part I feel like that makes you the most is like you feel like this person. Any other time this person has been very loyal to you? Mm -hmm. Eight of Pentacles, Three of Cups. Yeah. But they were trying to work on getting someone in a third party situation. And they regret that shit. Because why? They, this person, whoever this was, or even them, they figured out they was toxic. Somebody told they had a lesson. Mm -hmm. Somebody told they had a lesson. Get your ass up out of here. So, yeah, whoever this was, like I said, if you're mad at the third party, don't be upset with the third party. I feel like the third party really did not know. Yeah. Your person was telling them all kinds of sweet nothings. And I feel like whoever this was, this person, they were trying to, um, they were in a process of healing. So they weren't ready to receive. But whoever this king of cups, this person is really, like, they have a lot of emotions for you. Could be dealing, like I said, with a or another water sign, Scorpio in particular. Ooh, but this person is a big fucking liar. They're big liar. Big liar. They could be mean as fuck. This person says yes. Like this person, but tell this is definitely your info. Judgment. Didn't I say it? Mm-hmm. Some consequences. They asked was rejected. Did I not say that? Did I not say that? They was rejected. This person, they kept trying to have hope that this person would go for this situation. But the person rejected them. They rejected your person. Look at this. Yep, five of swords. Your person was playing mind games, or either this person was playing mind games with you, I'm not sure, making you feel like that. And I say gaslighting was all too weird. I feel like your person, whoever this, uh, your spouse is, this person was either gaslighting your person or your person was gaslighting them, but I feel like this is more so your person was doing up gaslighting. Um, all in the sense of making them feel like they was with fulfillment for the whole time. They was rejecting them and leaving them out in the cold, or this is what this person was doing to your person. So... <laughs> For me, I feel like the player got played here. Whoever the person is that think they the player, the player got played. The player got played is what I'm saying here. Yeah, somebody is on awakening. Seven of Cups. They walk away. Somebody could have seven, seven kids, mom, seven children. But it's a lot of options here. But this person is... They, they don't understand what it is they're really feeling about you. Like I said, some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius. They don't understand their feelings for you right now. But expect you may get some messages. Then I say somebody was communicating through text messages via, um, I don't care if it's Facebook, WhatsApp, uh, Instagram. Yeah, shit is dead. It's over. Strength. It took a lot of strength for somebody to go ahead and just cut the situation out. Alright, let's see what's going on with this uh, releasing the toxicity. Yeah, you let that shit go. Or this person, somebody, your person. Like I said, take the energy. How take your? You know your story better than I do. So take the energy. How it flows. But somebody left somebody ass in the dust. In the cold. So I'm not just playing around with another one. But this other person. And for some of you, you have someone that's around you that could be trying to like be like you and steal your shine and um shit. Could even trying to figure out how the fuck to get your finances 
So be careful. You know, for those of you who live in places where somebody can climb through your window, there's a lot of sorry ass people out here that thought that they were gonna play with you. I feel like Capricorn, and yeah, yeah. like I say, bossed up on that ass. People out here chasing you, trying to give you offers and trying to be nice to you now, all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this Queen of Wands and this Knight of Wands, please. Queen of Wands and the Knight of Wands. This person wants whatever it is that you have. For some of you, I feel like you could be the breadwinner. Yeah. yeah. You doing some major spring cleaning, baby. You are cutting ties with all types of people. And you like, look, <laughs> you working, I'm working on myself. I don't have time to focus on everybody else. And it's leaving motherfuckers stuck. Yeah, people gossiping. Like, why the, why, why? Uh... And for some of you, you could be a little stuck. So, you know, Spirit is saying get out of that. Uh, this is that Eight of Swords energy for me. Like just being frozen, hard to let go. But I feel like this is somebody else that's feeling stuck because you cut their ass out. They could be gossiping and asking about you. You could be dealing with you. We got that, that water sign here again. What are they spying about? Why is the page of swords here? What are they spying about? Mm-hmm. Because they feel like they don't understand. They don't understand. I want to say Gemini. So some of you could be dealing with a Gemini. They don't understand. Somebody has still not learned their lesson. Something may not work out for someone in a court situation, but someone still has not learned their lesson. Mm-hmm. We had sexual encounter, King of Swords. Mm-hmm. Somebody only wanted sex. <laughs> but this person still has, they haven't received their justice just yet. Yeah, we have the Eight of Cups, but you walked away from this person and they bullshit offer. They, they, they're trying to, but they've already stabbed you in your back with the Ten of Swords. Yeah, whoever this King of Wands, like, this person thought you was going to sit up there and rot and turn into dust and shit waiting on them motherfuckers to make you an also. Uh, not. What is this Ten of Swords? Four of Wands, exactly. So somebody either... Mm. So someone I feel like they see you as a catch. Someone's marriage didn't work out. They was not fulfilled within a marriage. Um, some, like I said, well, someone was feeling really betrayed and backstabbed. I feel like someone is now having this feeling of anger and going to a dark night of the soul. profile so your person could have been comparing you and this other person um more than one karmic <clears throat> so this person has a lot of people that they talk to that um for whoever may be married to this person you may not know about yet look at this materialistic marriage counseling money spills so for some of you that's where i see the divorce and separation so the wife may not want to have get divorced. The wife may want to try to get some sort of marriage counseling before going fully through with the divorce. Mm. Okay. Moody, childish, petty, selfish is how you know someone could be looking at you, or you could be looking at someone exactly gossip and talking. There you go again. Yeah judgment so another woman so this is definitely about you know infidelity sorry for anyone who's going through this with the person but yeah whoever your person is they have more than one comic that they're dealing with so you might be focused on maybe the wrong person 
So be careful when you go out to Cappy. Cause like I said, whatever this is, we got an ancient person right here. Traps of the mind. I think Aquarius said this yesterday. Boundaries. Aquarius or either Gemini. Boundaries. Givers need to set limits. Takers never do. Say no. So it's about you setting some strong boundaries. Beliefs. Your beliefs are keeping you stuck. That's that frozen energy. That's what I said. That eight of swords energy. Take these lessons. There's a lesson in hidden in all of this. Okay? So this person could have told you that they're not doing this and that no more. They'll never do this and that anymore. But the whole time you've seen what exactly what they're out here doing. You saw it firsthand. Mm-hmm. Self-care. So you're not taking care of yourself the way you need to. Or you could be, because this is find the tools that work for you. Um, but it's in the reverse. I feel like right now, again, you're already taking care of yourself. And Spirit is saying, you know, inners are merely just beginnings. So for those of you who did decide to go ahead and divorce and sep you know, separate, um, you know, Spirit is saying that endings are merely beginnings. It's giving you a chance to be able to reinvent yourself and become a new, better version of yourself. Um, don't feel like you have to be stuck because something has come to an end. You know, don't feel like you're have like you're tied to the ending and catalyst. You will meet divine love when you release the karma. So this karmic love, exactly. As soon as you release this karmic love, look what walks in. True love. True love walks in. And Spirit is saying, make sure that you give gratitude once this does come in for you. All right. Let's give an enchantment message. Relaxation promotes healing, so you need to really do some work on yourself. Work easy. Allow yourself to be in the flow and enjoy what it is that you do. And have one more. Thank you. It is okay to do that thing that you've been wanting to do. So, if you know, for those of you who you're second guessing, and I'm not gonna promote divorce at on any rate or level because, like I said, that's not my. I mean. I mean, that's not my place, nor my job. Please like, share, and subscribe as well. All right, let's see what other messages we have here. The Capricorn, then we're going to get your advice, and then we're out of here. Okay. stuff go and really see the vision start visioning what you have for yourself like again we have boss and leader how you gonna get more boss than oprah okay you get no more boss than oprah you in your boss shit right now you really are and spirit is saying that's what you need to focus on let this person sit and be in their damn head I'm right here because they just keep going let this person just sit and be in their damn head. That's their, that's, that's, that's their business. But Spirit is saying it's time for you to get out of that stuck energy and take some action in the situation. Um, move forward. Start working on yourself. Pamper yourself. Um, you know, stop letting this 
ending make you feel like everything is lost. That is not true. From the kitty cat deck. What do y'all have to say? My kitty. I'm gonna put my uh, baby on so she might want to be since I. Mm hmm. Hunter, stay with the process. Keep going with the flow. All right. Okay. Independence on your own. Hello. It's okay, Capricorn. You are the driver. You are steering your own car, baby. You are steering your own destiny. Independent. Yeah. Be your own fucking witness. Okay. Is Spirit not talking to y'all this morning, my good Cappies? Be your own witness. We have reflection. Get out of your box. Bliss. Contentment is in hand. Grace. Everyone is connected. Innocence. Look for fresh pair of eyes. So it's time for you to get a new perspective of the situation. So, I feel like if you are going to be in that stuck mode, at least be in that hangman position in the sense of where you're trying to find that aha moment, but don't stay there too long, copy. All right, let's see what your advice does, baby. The player got played. <laughs> the player got played. Two of hearts. Interesting. So you're getting ready to find yourself in a partnership with that 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 gives you equal to reciprocity. Ooh, big daddy energy, big daddy. So we had boss bitch, which is the empress in my, you know, in that deck, and then we had the two of wands. So it's time for you to make a decision, okay? When it comes to this emperor, what you gonna do? What you gonna do, baby? But whoever this is, you have big dig energy getting ready to come towards you, baby. Big dig energy. Yes. Five of cups, but okay. Interesting. Five of swords. Oh. So the thing is, if you keep focusing on the past and keep focusing on the disappointment, it's like you're playing a mind game with yourself. It's like you are basically mind fucking yourself. 27, 27 was on the timer. It's like you mind fucking yourself. You're going to have to get out of this energy and be strong. Check your ego and your pride. Because I feel like that's a, that could be a major problem. Think about the two of cups. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Spirit is saying for those of you who have been celibate or maybe virgin spirit saying don't give it up until a person show and prove to you. Until they show and prove to you that they're that emperor, yeah. They need to come at you. They need to have a plan. Uh-huh. Anybody that's coming back from your page, this person needs to have a plan. For some of you, you know, what you wait now to be taking longer than what you thought. Oh my gosh, honey, it'd be too early in the morning. I swear, y'all. It really did. What about this five of cups? For the advice, five of cups. Okay, the Queen of Swords came out in the... It came across. Hmm. So, I feel like you're not trying to be too... I feel like you're trying to be, as we know, any air sign, you know, we believe in diplomacy. You know what I mean? So, I feel like for some of you, you are trying to be diplomatic in a situation. Why does Queen of Swords cross? Because I feel like you're coming out of this energy. And if you're dealing with the air sign, this person is coming out of this energy. So you could be dealing with the air. There's confusion around this. A 
someone wants. Okay, so yeah. So someone wants you to give up. Uh, I feel like someone is trying to get you to give up your money, and you like, nah. But I do feel like uh, for some of you, you may be a little sexually frustrated. So, but I feel like a lot of you right now, this particular person I'm talking about, or energy that I'm picking up, you're celibate at this time. Well, that's the advice. Remain, can keep your celibacy because it's not, this may not necessarily be the situation that you want or things need to continue to transform in this situation before thinking about moving forward. Pretty much. Okay. So that's what I have for you, Capricorn. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so. Um, again, I really appreciate you guys for like, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. For supporting your girl, sticking with your girl. You know, I've been going through a lot of different phases of trying to keep this channel up and running and together. Um, I don't know why. Let's see. I'm being called to do a dream card for you. Let's do a dream card for Kathy. Dream card for Kathy. Say thank you to others as often as you can. Say thank you to life. Say thank you to yourself. Gratitude allows you to trust life and to trust the foundation for dreams to come true. So gratitude. Spirit is getting ready to bless you with everything that you actually need. You know? <clears throat> But thank you so much for liking and subscribing to the channel. And I'll see you guys in your next week. Peace.